Hey everybody, this is William from the Godzilla Files coming at you today with a new Kaiju Battles video. It's been a long time since I have done one of these. I'm really excited about this one. I think this is going to be a really good battle. It's Biollante versus the Gargantuas. Something a little unique and, you know, again, I think it's just going to be a fun battle to kind of go over and think about. So sit back and enjoy. The first monsters in this battle that we're going to be looking at are the Gargantuas, Sanda and Gyra. Before we go into this story, let's take a quick look at their stats. First we have Sanda, who stands at 30 meters tall and weighs in at about 15,000 metric tons. His brother Gyra stands at 25 meters and weighs in at 10,000 metric tons. Their first and only appearance is in the War of the Gargantuas. Just so everyone knows for this fight, I will be bumping them up in size and weight to better match with their opponent. Looking for food, the Gargantuas Gaira started leaving his home in the waters surrounding Japan and then started attacking airports and villages, eating anyone that he came across. As Gaira moved throughout the countryside of Japan, the army moved quickly to defeat this monster. They started attacking Gaira using Mazer cannons, but during this battle, they were shocked to find another monster, Sanda. Before the army could finish off Gaira, Sanda stepped in and saved him. The monsters quickly escaped and were hiding out in a forest, but unfortunately, it was at this moment that Gyra showed Sanda what he was truly like. Sanda unfortunately came to find out that Gyra was eating humans, which made him very upset. Seeing this made Sanda attack Gyra in hopes to put down his brother once and for all. But unfortunately, Gyra was able to get away from his brother and run back to his ocean home. They crossed paths once more and battled throughout Tokyo. While they were fighting, Sanda was receiving aid from the defense force as they attacked Gyra once again with their Mazer cannons. While they fought, the two monsters ended up spilling into the Tokyo Bay, and it was at this time where they both met their end due to a volcano erupting in the bay and taking them both down. Both Gyra and Sanda are humanoid in appearances. The one distinguishing feature with them is that they have fur all over their body. Gyra has more of a greenish fur, while Sanda has fur that's more of a brown color. Also, Sanda looks more human, while Gyra kind of has fangs coming out of his mouth and more of a monster-like quality to him. The second creature in this battle is Biollante. Let's see how this hybrid monster compares to the Gargantuas. Biollante stands at 120 meters tall and she weighs in at about 200,000 metric tons. She has appeared in only one film, Godzilla vs. Biollante. When a doctor mixes the cells of a rose and Godzilla, he creates the monster known as Biollante. After being created, she would find herself in a lake, and to the shock of everyone, she appeared as a beautiful rose. Calling out to Godzilla, who had just returned to Japan, the two would meet in battle. While she did attack Godzilla with everything she had, she was quickly defeated after taking a few hits of Godzilla's atomic breath. And though she was defeated, her golden spores did fly up into the sky, signaling that she might return. After their first battle, Biollante returned once more to fight Godzilla. She was no longer the beautiful rose that people had seen from before, but that of a giant monster. Before battling Godzilla, Biollante quickly destroyed the Japanese army so they could not get in the way whatsoever. She then turned her attention to the King of the Monsters and they battled once more. While Biollante was stronger in her new form, she still couldn't stop Godzilla. Once more, Godzilla used his atomic breath to take down Biollante. And with this defeat, she once again turned into the golden spores and flew up into the sky and was never seen from again. In her second form, Biollante has a crocodile-like head which is filled with razor-sharp teeth. She also has many vines around her, some of them having mouths with teeth at the end of them, or spear-like ends that can cut through the skin of Godzilla. In an effort to protect her weak spot, she's also grown a mess of vines to cover it. Both Sanda and Gyra are capable hand-to-hand -hand fighters, but Gyra has been shown to be much more of a vicious, animalistic fighter. Sanda has been shown to have human-like intelligence, while Gyra, his brother, seems to be more of a brute. <laughs> Biollante has the ability to spit an ascetic sap from her mouth, almost like a Godzilla's atomic breath. She also has vines that attack her enemies. They too can also shoot acidic sap from their mouths.
Gyra has been shown to be weak to maser can fire and sunlight due to growing up in the deeper parts of the ocean. It would stand to reason though that Sanda would also be weak against the maser cannons. Biollante's biggest weakness is her reaction to Godzilla's atomic breath. It can cause great damage to her on a cellular level, but also physical damage. So who wins? I'm going to have to give this one to Biollante. The Gargantuas would put up a pretty strong fight, but unfortunately I do think that they would be overwhelmed by Biollante at the end of the day. The amount of vines that they would have to fight through would just be too much for them. Also, when you throw in the fact that she has a projectile attack, this becomes much more difficult for them. Also, some of the vines can shoot projectiles. So really, they would be dealing with so much that I just, again, I think they would be overwhelmed by Biollante. It would still be be a really good fight and I think that they would really push her to her limit but at the end of the day Biollante would be standing tall. All right, everybody, did I make the right choice by picking Biollante? Yes, she is one of my favorites, but I do feel legitimately that she could have beaten both of them. But let me know in the comments below, you guys always do, and let me know if there's any other kaiju battles you want me to do. These do take time, as I've said before, and I am trying to make some more of these, but I'll always put them on the list if I find ones that are really interesting. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video.